Hi guys, welcome back. So today I am doing the most massive Shop Miss A haul I've done yet on my channel. These are two separate orders, but Shop Miss A comes out with new things so often and so fast. This sometimes I'll make a tiny, tiny order that's under $20 just so it doesn't sell out and I can get my hands on it. So I have a ton of new items that literally just dropped from Shop Miss A. Plus I got some stuff for my daughter, my kids, you know, stocking stuffers. And I wanted to share those with you because Shop Miss A would be an amazing site to get some stocking stuffer ideas from. They're so affordable. So I'm so excited about this. I have this huge, huge bag. That's not even all of it. There's a pile in front of me. So we really need to just jump right into this so I can quickly show you everything and get testing it out for you. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know what kind of reviews, get ready with me, specifics you want to see. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more Shop Miss A hauls. And go ahead and subscribe because we're crazy here and we love it. All right, let's just hop right in. I'm just going to pull, grab and go. That's just what I'm going to do. So the first thing that I have here is a palette. I got this, um, I ordered it because it was already made on the site, but it's just a magnetic, empty magnetic palette um, with a mirror. It's really nice. It's from A2O, I think. A yeah, A2O, which is another just like off brand of A AOA. And then their singular eyeshadows come in this. There's nine of them, little boxes, just like other single eyeshadows. And I really wanted to try these out. This was on sale, so that was a fast grab from me. And then I did go ahead and grab two of these. These are one of those things that just dropped. This is the AOA Blur Fecting Face Primer. I got mine in, there's transparent and nude. The nude looks a little dark, so I'm hoping that it kind of just rubs right in and there's no issues there, but I'm pretty stoked to try these out. I love the AOA brand and really there's not too much that has been fails for me from that brand on Shop Miss A. So I also got one of their baked eyeshadows from AOA. This is in Bourbon. So gorgeous. I'm going to swatch it. I have to. Um, you, you can do this. This is dry. Hopefully the lights aren't washing it out too much. Wet is intense. So these are always just a great hit. I've yet to find one that isn't gorgeous. Oh, that's so pretty. That would go so well with my outfit today. I also got some brush cleaning type of things. I got this from A+. This is just a spray brush cleaner. It's rose scented and antibacterial. And I also thought I could use it with this, which is from AOA. This is their brush cleaner. It's kind of like one of those color switches. Sorry for the crinkling, but it's just one of those color switches. These things are really only worth a dollar because they're just a rough textured sponge inside of a piece of plastic that you can quickly change your colors if you need to use the same brush in the same look. But you have some bold colors going on. You can just swirl it around in there and it'll take the color off the brush. So much needed definitely only worth a dollar. Now I got some other palettes from different companies. Sante seems to be the one that was, oh and Just Color, JK Just Color. So from Sante I got these Neutral Eyes. This is a very long palette. This is all shimmers. Comes with a double-ended brush that none of us really like. But this is the palette. I love the colors that are down on this and they're very rich and gorgeous. So if these shimmers work good on my eyes, this is a great go-to palette for shimmers. So I was excited to try that and they always have different colors and different styles. Like in these, I think there's two more different colors, schemes and things like that. And then I also got this Diamond is Girl's Best Friend palette, which comes with two of those double-ended stupid shadow things looks like this it has a but this reminds me of pretty vulgar pretty vulgar's palette setups so it's got some browns but these two browns look exactly the same this one might be a tiny hair bit darker and you got a gorgeous shimmer going on up here so i'm really excited to try that out and as well as this ultimate glow highlighting face palette this looks so pretty this one i'm not sure which one this is in it doesn't really have a name or a style number so i think that there's two or three different color schemes of this as well 
this is so pretty. There are some like a nice highlighting shade, but then there's some like blush shades that are like toppers. Oh, they just give you that sheen. So if it works out, it's going to be freaking fantastic. And then with the Just Colors, I got this smoky eyeshadow palette. I've never heard of Just Colors. That's new to me. So I had to grab it and see. Here's the palette. Now the only thing that I really just it gets me about this palette and this one the cheaper palettes tend to not really cater that much to a full look so these are all shimmers every single one so unless you're just like pulling an 80s makeup look or a 90s makeup look you will need to pull from different palettes but that's okay some of these colors look amazing so i'm excited to see if this is going to pan out well. And then I got the Rose palette, which is also, it's like half eyeshadow, half face. I love these because then I can test out a palette, one palette, and I can do most of my face. This one doesn't come with a brush, but look at that. Gorgeous. Of course, all shimmer. All shimmer. I think the bronzer and the blush are shimmer too. <laughs> but they are all oh, that color right there. That color gets me. I, I cannot wait to try these out and get ready with me, a makeup look, just to see if they're good or bad. You guys will, of course, see videos for, like, I already have a part one of the best from Shop Miss A of items that I've tried so far. I will link that down below if you guys want to see it. Let's move on. We got so much more to talk about. I got another jelly jam. This is a lip mask from AOA. I got Honey and Rose love the honey so much I needed to try the strawberry as well so I got another flavor in that and I also got a mask um brush it's not really a brush it's a silicone flat head up here and it's small and it's cute and I might grab a few more of these because I use makeup brushes like um foundation brushes from my makeup brush sets for my masks and I'd rather just have an actual mask brush so AOA Shop Miss A allows me to do that on a $1 budget. That's awesome. I also got some highlighters. I thought I had another one in here somewhere. We'll probably get to it. Oh, no. no. Oh, I'm all messed up here. Um, This is the Pow Lighters. I thought that this was bigger because online it looks bigger. But this is like a rose gold champagne -y highlighter. A loose powder highlighter. And I don't have loose powdered highlighters. So I really wanted to try that out. And I also got some of the AOA setting powders. Um, this is a transparent pressed powder. So it's just like a white transparent powder. And then I also got a loose powdered one. This is their perfect setting powder. And I got this in brightening. So it's a little bit of a salmon pink color. And I wanted to try that on my under eyes to see if I can brighten it up. Because mom of three gingers. Enough said. <laughs> I also got the AOA. This is their Oh Honey. I think this is new. This is their, what are you? Honey made with real honey. Nourish your lips. Oh Honey Lip Oil. So it's a lip oil. And I'm really into the lip products they're coming out with lately. So I'm grabbing a bunch of those. I got the Rose Lip Scrub. I think this is another new one that they came out with. And they also just dropped more it's like the jelly jam jars of lip scrubs and they're already in my car i hope they don't sell out before i can grab them so this is actually much bigger i cannot wait to try that out i also grabbed a couple of their brow gels i don't use brow gels a lot and these look exactly the same but they are in medium brown and dark brown i'm not sure really even how to use these in a tube like this but if you want to see me try them out let me know let me know i'm gonna oh, i just don't know if you have any tips, leave them down in the comments on how to use that. I also got another lipstick. I told you guys I would. AOA, because this is in Shore, because their lipsticks are so good. Sadly, they don't have a lot of colors out right now. Oh, that's pretty. That is a perfect nude color. They're so creamy and so beautiful. So easy to wear and nice on the lips. So I want to get more, but they just don't have a lot of color combinations right now hoping they come out with more this isn't makeup related but i had to do it i thought that they were a great deal i got three packs of bag clips these are for like potato chips and snack bags when you need them to be closed my kids don't close bags they don't know how to do that well and our chips go stale all the time cereal bags anything that you have so i grabbed a bunch of these they come with two large and one small in each pack a dollar a pack so i was like yeah 
yeah, that's needed. I also got two of their new launches for eye primers. I got the soft base and the tacky base. And I think that they also have another one. And I just didn't need it. It was like sparkly or something like that. I just don't need that kind. So I got two of these to try out. They are part of the charities that they have. And so they are $1.88. Hopefully totally worth it. Probably. But we'll test it out. And then I got an exfoliating bath cloth because me and my husband both get kind of acne on our back. I get it more on my shoulders. He gets it on his whole back. Hopefully this, it feels like really like rough. So hopefully it won't kill us, but we need something. I also grabbed two of their eye creams. Now this is from a company that I believe I see at the dollar store or the dollar tree all the time. Um, Global Beauty Care. I got the Lift and Firm Collagen Peptides Eye Cream and the Brightening with Vitamin C Eye Cream. So I'm not really sure which one I will try, like start trying, but this is going down. It's going down. I need so much help with my under eyes. I also got one of Shop Miss A's, not Shop Miss A, I mean I got it from there, but AOA's Shea Butter Hand Cream in Vanilla. They launched a bunch of new hand creams. So this is a tiny little thing, but hopefully that means I can use it up and it will be great. And then I got this lipstick, which I already kind of regret. This is, I think it was from Santé. I'm not too sure, but it's got polka dots all over it. And it's just hard to color gauge on that site because things tend to be a little bit different than what they look like um, in the pictures, which is kind of on par for everything, everything. So this is more of like a very bright pink and I did not realize. Yeah, it's kind of hard and blotchy, but I did, there you go. It's like Barbie pink and it's, it's just a very, very cheap very cheap lipstick so I don't know I might just automatically pass that one on like I said the last time I hauled I'm going to be buying their essential oil at least one every time to try to see what where's the good and bad in them so I got lavender this time this it's only a dollar they're really really tiny but if they're good they're good and then I got a Santé liquid lipstick which also again I got and one of the only shades that really called to me from the set, they didn't have a lot of colors other than like deep reds and really, really dark browns. And that's just not where my color scheme is. So I grabbed this one and it seems very bright pink. Oh Lord, yes. Very bright pink. It's at the top there. Ooh. I'm going to keep this one, but I might regret it. And then I also grabbed another big palette from A2O because I have two and they are amazing. These I believe are $10 a piece. Completely worth it. So this time I got immersed. Look at it. It's so pretty. It's like a unicorn. Oh, look at that shade. Oh, that shade right there. Holy cow. I just, I love these. They are so good. I did pick up some brushes from AOA. I got these really cool looking brushes. They come in a set and they're like pointed. I don't, I might like set with them, but it says it's a high definition brush. So you have the big one and then you have a little one. I just don't have anything like this in my collection and why not for the price, right? These are really, really well made. So no problem with that. And then I got another Cala Professional brush that comes in the velvet pouch, like Dior. It makes you feel so special. So special. Now, this is a bronzer brush. Oh my god, it's so soft. Like, this is a professional brush. Oh, what? I want, I, I just want the whole collection. And they don't have the whole collection on Shop Miss A, and I want it. I got two more sponges. I got the Nude. Um, this is their high definition makeup sponge from AOA. So I grabbed that one and then I got another sil um, silicone dipped one from A+. This one is a red one that's shaped a little bit different and the silicone is at the end here because I loved the last one so I just had to do it. Alright, stocking stuffer wise, I grabbed a couple of things. Now, this is kind of new. This I got one for me and one for my daughter, her Christmas stocking she's right out there but this is your like horoscope sign necklace and stud earrings so I got Scorpio because mama's a Scorpio 
And my daughter is a Leo. So I got Leo. They're cheap. They'll tarnish probably quick or break quickly, but they're still cute little things that you can put in your kids' stockings. And then I also got some vinyl stickers for my children. I got sloths that are loving each other. That's for my son because he's a sloth lover like his mama. And then I got my daughter a Leo astrology sign thing and kind of a big deal. She is a pickle lover. <laughs> and then I also got some headbands this one's for me it's one of those textured knit like not knit but like knotted ones this is so thick material it's fantastic just as long as it doesn't like stretch too far and break we'll see but it's very well made in the sense of thick fabric so I love that I got one of these for my daughter for her stocking because she likes these as well so I got those and then they just came out with some Christmas socks these are so cute and the thing that I'm happy with is that they are nice socks for a dollar they don't feel like Dollar Tree or Dollar Store socks these are thick they're squishy and they have a bunch of different kinds so if anything grab these for your kids for stocking stuffers because they are so cute and they're such good quality such good quality so I am very happy Whew, that is everything that I got, you guys. I barely breathed. My battery's about to die. So I will try my best to list everything down below in the description box. Please bear with me. I've probably been there for three hours trying to find links for you guys. Whew, I will try my best to link everything. I'm so excited to just dig right in and start trying things out. So if you saw something that caught your eye and you really want me to try that out first, let me know in the comments. You want to see more of these, give this video a thumbs up and I will of course see you guys in the next one.